And we're back to exploring mid-journey. Let me show you a couple of prompts that I've used for isometric designs. One use case would be for video games, you need certain graphics. And one thing that I've found out over the weeks, almost month now, that I've been trying and testing with Journey is that you want to make your prompt as simple as possible, as most words, most tokens are going to get ignored anyway. So start with isometric and then your subject, I'll just use building. If you want to make it more video game like, for video games it's a good idea to go down with the details a little bit. So I use isometric clean pixel art building. Here's the building, or something like SimCity, wouldn't be a bad idea to use it. Clean pixel art goes a little bit down with the level of detail. You can obviously also add the stylized parameter if you want to and adjust the level of detail manually. I've made a video about this parameter in my playlist, you should find it. But you can also give it this typical video game style by adding 16-bit art. So instead of using clean pixel art, I use 16-bit art and still isometric and building. Some people reported that you should add multiple concepts to get a set of these designs. For me, it didn't really work, at least not this way. Let us first check our 16-bit art. More video game-like. You can also go down to 8-bit if you want to, to make it more pixelated. But here you can see our multiple concepts. It didn't give us multiple concepts. And even if I change the word order, Midjourney doesn't really know that I want to have an entire set. What does work though is to use a set of isometric and then your subject. I'll make it 16-bit art yet again. So in our case we have set of isometric buildings, 16-bit art. And this has given me multiple designs in a single image, at least for the most part. And you can see number one doesn't work, but two, three and four they do. You can already see it. You can even take it a step further by adding a specific video game as a reference for the style. For example, isometric building in the style of the game Command and Conquer. But I make it an army base instead of a building. And then we'll prompt it again for the game StarCraft, which is going to make it more sci-fi-like. But I believe in StarCraft it wasn't called the army. I do remember there was a race called Protons. So let me prompt it using Protons base. I use the same prompt isometric Protons base in the style of the game StarCraft. And now it should be way more sci-fi like. And here it is. Number 4 is not usable but definitely 2 and 3 and maybe even 1. So this is how you can set it up. Always use isometric, keep it simple, then add your subject. If you want to have a set, add that. Maybe you want to add 16-bit art to have more computer-like designs, add a video game name. And if your results don't come out with an easily selectable background, they should. But if they don't, just add white background to it and you should be good with selecting this afterwards. And this is how you can create isometric designs in Midjourney. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.